Hey everybody, it's Kat, Cat Colors across all social media platforms. Be sure to check out part one, but this is part two for our faux tousled blowout look. In a quick recap, in part one, I shared how I prepped Maggie's hair to give it some body and movement by wetting it down and using some of my favorite products. Now, in part two, I'm gonna get into how I section and curled it. So starting in the mohawk panel, I'm taking sections that are the width of my Velcro roller. Whenever I'm still actively working on the hair, I'll use a hold like the elastic hold from Osis to make sure that I can still manipulate and move the hair around. So I'm coating the hair in a very light mist forward and back, and then I use my boar bristle brush to make sure it's evenly saturated. In a technique like this, I like to heat the hair up at the base first for maximum volume and body and to protect the ends. By gently opening and closing the curling iron, this allows me to feed the ends in at a slower rate. This will make sure that I'm not kinking or creasing the hair while I continue to evenly heat it up and protecting the ends by keeping them out of the heat as much as possible. I always feel that the ends tend to hold the curl the best, and this could be due to many variables such as a higher porosity or chemical or mechanical damage, so I like to leave them for very last. Once the hair is evenly heated up, I like to click open the curling iron very slowly and shimmy the hair off. Then, instead of letting it cool in the exact shape of the curling iron, I place the Velcro roller in the middle of the section and then comb down to the ends and then wrap the ends nice and smooth around it. Then, make sure every hair is accounted for and clip it into place. I'll continue the same technique through the whole mohawk panel first because this is where we want to have the most volume and movement through the whole entire head and I'll clip it into place, sometimes using extra clip to secure any loose hairs. Now we're going to move into the side panel. On this particular look, I'm curling towards Maggie's face to really give her a silhouette shape of her hair and to show off all of the layers. The rest of the sections past this point you can customize to your client's head shape and the desired finished look. For Maggie's hair, I do one more section above this on the side panels and then I do two more in each back quadrant. On her length and head shape, I feel like this gave us the most movement. You can see the placement and all of that here where my girl Erica is getting her all dolled up and doing some final touches on her makeup. To safely remove the Velcro, sometimes I will hold the hair at the base of the section just to make sure I'm not pulling too hard on my client's head, but I like to twist each and every section out to maintain a nice polish without disrupting the curl pattern. And now that we have this beautiful tousled look, it's time to make it a little bit messy. So I'm going to go in with another light mist of the Osis Elastic Hold, followed up by a few pumps of the Glow Serum. This way my hands can glide really gently through the hair, making sure again I'm not disrupting the curl too much. And then of course, some dusted at the root. I'll have my client flip her head all the way over to make sure that we're getting a nice lift throughout her entire root. Massaging the product in as I apply. And there you have it, the beautiful final look of our model today for that tousled, sexy, messy look. Be sure to check out more tutorials on Shorts Cuff Professional USA and then check me out on all social media platforms at Cat Colors.